off of Vancouver Island. We're over in the Vancouver area. We need to stop and see Paul at Epic Adventure Outfitters. We've got to drop off these 40 inch tires uh, that barely fit in the bed of the truck. And I'm gonna show you the suspension that we've got for the Gladiator, for the Demonator. I don't think any of you guys have seen the suspension yet. It's brand new. It just came out from Metal Cloak. We just got it in yesterday and uh, I can't wait to get on the Demonator and show you guys it after it's installed. But we'll take a sneak peek today and have a look. Stay tuned to the end. I want to show you an awesome new Jeep over at White Rock Dodge as well today before we wrap up the vlog. And uh, we've got Maddie with us hanging out in the back seat. Maddie, say hi quick. Smokes it's just pouring over here in Vancouver. I can barely see the vehicles in front of us. I'm trying to see just how good a fuel economy we can get with the uh, supercharged V8 Hemi in here before we put the 40s on. Around town, it's not very good, but on the highway, we're uh, averaging 14 liters per 100 kilometers, which I think is around 16 or 18 MPGs. I'll have to look it up, or someone could leave a comment in the comments, but. It's actually not bad just cruising on the highway if you're not on the throttle all the time. All right, we're here. Brought some tires. I know you guys like tires. Oh yeah, we need more tires. <laughs> Hang on, Maddie's here. Oh, it's raining. Size just these, just a day, just a day in the life. Day in the life of a... <laughs> you guys remember Paul from Epic? <laughs> oh, camera on your head. Yeah, we're rolling. <laughs> we're rolling. This is the POV cam for when we gotta do stuff. Actually, people really like the POV cam. I take the POV cam. <laughs> Not totally secured. Yeah, what do you guys think of the comments of the POV cam? Allows me to shoot a lot more while I'm uh, doing things. I'll uh, I'll take these off for you. I don't I don't want to throw your back out or anything. Yeah, you don't want to hurt me. Do you think we could fit them on the Toyota? Gigantic. Look at this. Yeah, looks good. I'll tell Christian, Christian we upgraded the Toyota. Oh, uh, there's just Hellcat crates sitting around. What? Geez, guys, just keep these in stock now. Look at that. What do you think? Hang on. <laughs> just uh, there we go. Now that's a respectable Toyota. All right, we'll put them on the pallet. Yeah, these are beauties though. <laughs> beauties. Okay. How'd you like mounting these? It was easy. They go on super, super easy. Yeah. So, and trail grappler with a KMC. It's yeah, like, you don't need any spacers or anything. Yeah, if you do like a Baja boss, which we've now found out are difficult. You, you need a spacer? And it's just a pain in the butt. Yeah, me. I screwed up one of the stems, but it's on the spare, so. Okay. It's, it's all, it doesn't sit quite straight. <laughs> and it started tearing, so I was like, eh, I don't want to deal with that. This is uh, Kraken for one of my friends, Fluff. Throw this in the truck. If you guys don't have your Krakens. Grab a Kraken tire inflation system from Epic. We got to get one in the Demonator, but it is the best system for mounting up your A or B twin compressor and then airing up your Jeep. This is going to go back to the island with us. If you want to uh, help support m me making these videos, so you can check out my Patreon page down in the description. And I'll put a link up here, patreon.com slash KC250. What, <laughs> what do we got? Uh, this is suspension for your demon, man. Oh, from all metal cloak. All metal cloak. We're gonna leave the uh, demonator in the good capable hands of the ginger. And uh, we're gonna get this metal cloak suspension installed. But I wanna show you the unique thing in this suspension that just came out from metal cloak because this is a front long arm suspension, but it's not your regular four control arm system. It's their new lock and load system for the Gladiators and Wranglers that uh, I think we're gonna be one of the first Gladiators to have this installed. 
Can we pop one of the boxes open? Which one has the... I think this might be it here. It says radius long arm set. That's the one. Lower, so that's probably it there. Let's... Uh, uh, I'll grab a knife. Let's have a quick look at that. So if you don't know, the Jeeps have, uh, well, in the front, it's a four link suspension, but this is gonna replace the two upper links and we're gonna have just lower links is gonna connect to the upper links. And we're gonna be able to unlock that when we wanna go rock crawling and get a lot of articulation and basically have a three link front suspension. I'll show you just what I'm talking about. Right, you've got your upper control arm, you've got your lower control arm and they connect to the axle. What we're gonna have is we're gonna have a lower control arm and then that lower control arm has a Y that connects to the axle. <laughs> and uh, so Paul's got part of it right there so you can see what we're talking about. Here, Paul, show us over here. Mock that up for everybody. Oh yeah, and they're long arms, so they're way longer, which yeah. means our control arms aren't on as steep of an angle when we're driving, yeah. and they're in a better position for stability. How long can you hold that there for? Is it heavy? <laughs> so we're gonna weld on some mounts here, yeah. and then we're gonna have a connect connector, the lock and load component, will yeah. connect, go onto here and connect up to the upper control arm mount on our new, Dana 16. I don't know if it's in that box, but the lock and load well, is- It's probably in a secondary box here, but let's take a look. The lock and load is a system that you can reduce binding in the suspension when we are articulating our front axle, which means more articulation. So we're gonna be down at Easter Jeep Safari. If you guys are there, let me know. Follow me on Instagram, because I post a lot of real-time updates, stories, reels, all that kind of stuff. Follow me on Instagram. If you're coming to Easter Jeep Safari, I'll be posting all along the way on my trip down there. And I'm gonna to try to catch up with the Metal Cloak team. They always have the CTI ramp. That's the uh, corner travel index ramp where they lift up each corner individually and show you how much flex you have and give you a number, basically how well your suspension is performing. And they can check for interference and all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah, here we go. We're gonna to try to get it on the ramp down there, but Paul has found the lock and load. It. I found it. So this is going to connect to our axle yeah. and to the front. I think that way or the other way? That might be the other that, way. Nobody's seen this before! We're gonna need some directions for the ginger, but look at this. So you can that, see the, yeah. the spring in here. Yeah. Now on the other side, we do have a fixed, fixed one. Yeah. link. And then Metal also has a non-lock and load front long arm available as well now. So you can check that out if you don't want to go with the lock and load. So you can get a traditional four control arm long arm front now for the uh, Wranglers and Gladiators. Get all that gold! Oh, man, look at that. That's like a quarter inch steel. That's, that's so this is this is thick. the part that we're unsure of of how that's going to work with the AMW yeah. exhaust and gas tank mount on that one side. Fingers and stuff crossed. And, yeah, fingers crossed. Well, we'll get it to work. It'll work somehow. It'll work. It'll work somehow. We'll make it work. Make it work. You just need a big enough hammer. I know Metal Cloak is looking forward to finding out how we make it work. Because <laughs> <laughs> they want to know too. With the content on this channel, I kind of have the liberty to try stuff out. I'm not afraid to try a new product, try a new design. I put something on the Jeep, maybe it doesn't work, maybe we take it off, maybe it works awesome and I tell all you guys about it, but it's all about sharing my experience building and using the Jeep. We can experiment a little bit, we can get the brand new stuff, try it out, see what you guys think, and that's 100% what we're doing here. But the lock and load system has been around on the JKs and the TJs for quite a while. The system is tried and true and tested on other vehicle platforms. It's gonna be us testing it now. And yeah, getting it's never, some. It's never been done in a gladiator, let alone with a demon. A <laughs> couple of firsts happening here. What do you think, Mads? Can you lift that? Is that too heavy? Which one? The big one. Oh, look at that. What do you think? Oh, it's not that heavy. Oh, don't wreck the shop. <laughs> it's a little heavy, but not that much. All right, throw her down. So we got the rest of everything else in here. That's cool. We've actually got another set of uh, boxes coming from Metal Cloak because we're gonna be doing more than just suspension. Super excited to be trying this out and getting it on the Demonator. The downside is I can't show you guys all of the installation. I actually, if you didn't know, have a day job and I need to go and work. You don't have a day job, shut up. <laughs> I need to go and work while the Ginger's gonna be installing this. So we're gonna pick this up. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna come back to Epic when all of this is on the Demonator and I'll give you guys a full rundown, a full walkthrough of all that. Check this out, we just finished installing the Z Automotive OEM switches. So on the inside, look at this, you don't even know. You don't even know they're there. Oh yeah, wow. Just all OEM. If you guys watch 
I don't know, either, either, either last week's video or next week's video, I can't decide what order we're gonna put these in, but we swapped out the Mojave locker switch yep. for a Rubicon switch so yep. we can control front and rear lockers. Awesome. We got off-road plus button so we can use that to power our compressor. Okay, Turn cool. our compressor on and off. That's what you're gonna do, gotcha. And then when we do the nomad, uh, nomadic, <laughs> the pneumatic, <laughs> pneumatic it. Uh, sway bar disconnect, we can just wire that into the sway bar button. Into sway bar. And then we've got four aux buttons cool. that we can control all through the screen, all through the screen, just fact, same as factory. Yeah, this looks great. So you do need a taser for this kit, I'll right? To make every, to hook it up and make it program. To, so it shows on. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, everybody should have a taser, anyways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I'll show you under the hood. So it comes to the screen just like stock and has the exactly. Uh, you can change the moment momentary or blah blah blah. It, yeah, you can latch up. moment uh, okay, cool. latch yeah. uh, remember state yeah. or vehicle with cool. or without ignition. What does it look like under the hood? Is there? A Come check it out. Yeah. It's it's not it's pretty good. I mean. I had to paint the bracket because it was a prototype bracket, so you know, you, know, you guess how that kind of went. But uh, so they made this oh, okay. nice bracket gotcha. that just kind of sits over the battery. Yeah. I had to shim it a little bit because we moved our battery up with the right. engine swap, right? Yeah. So it was a little tight on here, um, but it's just basically a fuse. Nice. So we can wire lockers, Perfect. compressor, all that stuff in there. Perfect. And. Uh, it's pretty OEM. So it's all solid state, basically. Yeah, all, nice, right? all solid state. Yeah, I like solid state, right? And then we've got a shut off if we need to. Awesome, man. And then their new brackets are going to come powder coated. Right. So my paint job didn't. I was trying to get this ready for you guys. So I was like, this, oh, it's dripped. And I started trying to sand it. And I'm like, if you didn't order your Jeep or buy one with auxiliary switches and you want that real factory look, and if you're adding lockers and you want a factory switch, you can add the OEM auxiliary switches and locker switch to your Jeep and then have it all managed and controlled the Z Automotive system. Uh, either watch last week's video or next week's video for the install. I have a question. Yeah. Why is your uh, speedo gauge covered? <laughs> oh, those white rock dodge. Yeah, here we are. White rock dodge, guys. Let's go see what's going on. Look at all the trucks. Look at all the Jeeps, holy moly. What a lot of 392s. We'll just park right here. <laughs> we made it to White Rock Dodge. Look at all the uh, modified Jeeps that are out here. <laughs> They're for sale if you guys want some. Everything, sweet green one, red one. Everything's lifted. Everything here is done by Epic. So if you're picking up a Jeep at White Rock Dodge, they're all built by Epic Adventure Outfitters. Oh, 392, 392. Snazzleberry 392. Ooh, look at this. Okay, we are gonna leave the Demonator here at White Rock Dodge. We're gonna get the interior done while it's here and then they're gonna take it and drop it off at Epic Adventure Outfitters. I'm gonna show you a, a finished interior because Cerberus, the other Demon Gladiator that I was telling you guys that White Rock Dodge built has the updated interior or custom interior. Let's go check that out, we'll go find it. But first I need to uh, find our loner Jeep, so. I think it's right there, there we go. Or is it the tan one? Nope, it's this one, it's making a noise. Oh, wrong button. That one locks it, or unlocks it, and the other one locks it. And then lock, and then unlock. Cerberus is not gonna be not quite as built as the Demon Air because it's only on 38s but it's got all the other awesome custom stuff. So I wanna show you guys, and I wanna actually show you guys, I wanna see the interior on Cerberus before we uh, take off out of here. So this Willie's Jeep, just like all, all, the, all the other awesome rigs here at White Rock Dodge is also for sale, but I've not ever seen a Willie's interior. Look at this, two-tone seats. Here, that is really nice, beautiful Wait, green. This is Sarge Green, Willie's Gladiator. Come check it out at White Rock Dodge. Look at so many Where's more Cerberus? for sale. Where's oh, so there's Cerberus here. So Cerberus is another demon swapped gladiator. Look at this. I'm gonna pull it out. Oh, we got the the demon headlights. <laughs> so familiar. <laughs> Demon Rubicon on here. Currently on the fuel economy page, so I will change that right now. What does it say? Um, actually not as bad as I thought. Thirty-three point six. Thirty-three. 
Mine sales, doesn't go past was 25. Was that the salesiest <laughs> answer you've ever heard? Not that yeah, bad. Only mine, terrible. Mine's usually 25 in the city, but I got 14 <laughs> driving out here. How crazy is that? It's thirsty. <laughs> Very thirsty. I'll take it out. Oh, you sit there revving it. <laughs> and we got the uh, custom, the custom spare tire mount in the back as well. You're good. A little bit of space. So that's what it looks like on 38 inch tires. We're gonna have more lift and 40 inch tires on ours, built by the awesome crew at Epic Adventure Outfitters. Oh, it's sharp. <laughs> but uh, I need to check. I need to check out the interior, Tom. All right. Well, let me move this forward. Pull it up. All yours, Casey. Let's have a look at the custom interior. Is that yours? No, this one's mine. Oh. It also has the same engine this in it. No. We're building this one still. Oh, nice. oh, good. So this has the demon in it as well. Holy yeah. So we're going to swap the axles, put a lift kit on it and put 40 inch tires. So those are 38 inch tires. Oh. So we're going to put bigger tires on there. <laughs> All right. Let's check out this custom yeah, interior, yeah, yeah. Tom. Holy oh. smokes. So Cerberus got the full treatment as well. Look at that. Looks like Lamborghini stitching in the leather. Yes, wow. <laughs> and then a big demon logo on the seats. Awesome. You guys did the piano black dash, which looks beautiful in here. It gets rid of that red, all red dashed. It's too much red. And the back as well. Look at this. Everything front and rear looks great. Oh, this guy's trying to get out. Maybe we uh... <laughs> yeah, make some room here. Yeah, I'll go make some... yeah. oh. So this is for sale, guys. Come down. You could just. Call, call, me, call, call Tom, Tom. <laughs> but if you want to just see it come down to White Rock Dodge and check it out uh, it's here until it sells and uh, they'll come and uh, fire it up for you and have a look and if you're serious about buying a demon swap gladiator or Wrangler Rich said he will take you guys out on a test drive and uh, you can get the experience so put the 6080 axle on there already look at that so eight, Dana 80 rear, 8 lug in the back, Dana 60 in the front. This is, uh, this is what the Demonator is going to look like shortly. Okay guys, it is hailing out and it started pouring. Look at the hail coming off the... Wait, it's hailing? Yeah, look at the hail coming off the hood. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at the rainbow of Jeeps behind us, or behind the hail. There goes the Demonator. Hey, what is Tom's going to take good care of it for us. So uh, I just jumped out of the hail. Uh, Maddie and I are now in the Willys. Hey, Matt. Hey, we are uh, leaving the Demonator here. So it's going to get the interior done. It's going to get the roof swapped to a color match roof. Huge thanks for Rich at White Rock Dodge for putting all that together, making that happen. They're going to take it over to Epic and they're going to get started putting the axles lift on the Demonator. And we're going to come back towards the end, see if we can get some finishing up of the install. But if not, we're gonna pick it up and go do a full walkthrough with you guys. So don't miss that, it's gonna be super exciting. I'm super excited, you guys gotta be super excited. The Demonator, coming to life. Hit subscribe, leave a like, and any questions you have, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Say goodbye, Maddie. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week.